For decades, the Christians of these villages have met together on Good Friday to remember that solemn moment of Good Friday when our Lord Jesus Christ gave his life for all people. As Christians, we recognise the solemnity, the pain, the passion and the cost. This year may be a little different, but still we remember. And so together with Father Peter and Reverend Alan, the people of Hillside meet together to mourn the passing of a saviour, but to look together for the hope that stands before us. Let us pray. Almighty Father, look with mercy on this your family, for which our Lord Jesus Christ was content to be betrayed and given up into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross, who is alive and glorified with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading from John. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged. The soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and placed it on his head. They clothed him in a purple robe and went up to him again and again saying, Hail, King of the Jews! And they slapped him in the face. Once more Pilate came out and said to the Jews gathered there, Look, I am bringing him out to you, to let you know that I find no basis for a charge against him. When Jesus came out, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe, Pilate said to them, Here is the man. As soon as the chief priests and their officials saw him, they shouted, Crucify! Crucify! But Pilate answered, You take him and crucify him. As for me, I find no charge against him. This reading is from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. As they were going out, they met a man from Cyrene named Simon, and they forced him to carry the cross. They came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. There they offered Jesus wine to drink, mixed with gall, but after tasting it, he refused to drink it. When they had crucified him, they divided up his clothes by casting lots. And sitting down, they kept watch over him there. Above his head, they placed the written charge against him. This is Jesus, 
the King of the Jews. This is the word of the Lord. Our third reading from Matthew. From noon until three in the afternoon, darkness came over all the land. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing there heard this, they said, he's calling Elijah. Immediately one of them ran and got a sponge. He filled it with wine vinegar, put it on a staff, and offered it to Jesus to drink. The rest said, now leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah does come to save him. And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two, from top to bottom. Our pilgrimage this year is much less about walking and more of a sedentary practice, as we stay in, keep safe, and support our NHS. And so together this Good Friday, we sit solemnly, remembering the rejection, humiliation, and execution of our Lord Jesus Christ. And just as we go through this suffering, and people will lose friends, relatives, even those who work on the front line are not immune from this terrible illness. We pray for them, we give thanks for them, we support them. God is in this and we will get through this by his grace and with each person complying to the restrictions placed upon us. We are the body of Christ and at such a time as this, labels are secondary. We are united in the healing power of Jesus through his death on the cross. But the more than simply by his stripes are we healed. By his resurrection, we are made whole. He gives a glorious resurrection hope on Easter morn. And so maybe together as pilgrims, as brothers and sisters in Christ, we can walk this pilgrim way not publicly, not together out on the streets, but united in prayer over the, under the banner of love in Jesus Christ. So Christians everywhere, we thank you for one another. We stand together and we say, come Lord Jesus, help us at this time. Give strength and wisdom to those on the front line whether in research or in caring. But most of all, give hope to those who have been lost to this illness and to those who mourn. The message of Easter doesn't end with the crucifixion. And in three days time, we will rejoice together for he will be risen, but for now, we pray.
The blessing is inspired by Sister Mary Ann Barrett, a Dominican nun from Grand Rapids, Michigan, wherein she says, May the God of all goodness bless us. On this Good Friday, with its symbol of the cross of love, we Christians fully participate in the mystery of death and life. In facing our fear of death, we can realistically embrace the daily gift of life. May we embrace the belief that love is the strongest power and that nothing can separate the beloved from the lover, friend from friend. May we see this day as Good Friday because, as in Jesus' life, so with ours, God wraps us with courage in our troubles and strength in our distressing times. When all seems impossible, may we lean on the cross and rest at the foot of the cross. This day, may we be blessed with the goodness of God's extravagant love.